Good morning and welcome back to AM Joy. A new ad by the Joe Biden campaign juxtaposes Donald Trump golfing at his club in Virginia yesterday as the death toll from COVID-19 nears 100,000. 100,000 American lives lost in just a few months, many of which could have been saved. Trump let the cameras see him golfing, which he rarely does. It's all part of his strategy to normalize this devastation, to normalize human suffering. Nothing to see here, folks. It's all good. But not everyone is burying their heads in the sand. This morning, the New York Times printed the names of 1,000 Americans who lost their lives to coronavirus on its front page. All of these names account for just 1% of the lives lost so far. Meanwhile, Trump golfs and tells us everything is fine. Meanwhile, all 50 states are taking steps to reopen. Meanwhile, Senate Republicans are refusing to take up legislation that could help mitigate the unprecedented public health and economic crisis facing this nation. And all while an election looms. And it looks like coronavirus will turn Election Day into a referendum on Republican governance. A nationwide Fox News poll shows Joe Biden beating Donald Trump by eight points. And red states are turning purple. In Georgia, Trump and Biden are neck and neck in Georgia. These numbers are even worse for Republicans in the Senate, where Democrats need just four seats to take the majority. Recent polls show Republicans can no longer bet on North Carolina, where the Senate race is a virtual tie. Or Colorado, where the Republican incumbent is losing by 18 points. Or Arizona, where the Republican incumbent is losing by 13 points. And the latest in the polls for 2020, Joe Biden is leading President Trump by eight points in the latest Fox News poll. Biden sits at 48 percent, up six points since last month. Trump is at 40 percent, down two. There's a 27 point gender gap between the two, with Trump leading by seven points among men, while Biden is up 20 points among women. Biden also has a 64 point lead among African-American voters. And Trump trails Biden by 15 points among voters under 45 and by three among voters 45 and older. Biden is also up 17 points among voters 65 and older, a group the president won by seven points back in 2016. When voters were asked who would do a better job handling the economy, Trump narrowly leads Biden 45 to 42 percent. Biden leads the president on the questions of who would better handle relations with China, the coronavirus, health care, and women's rights. at these numbers, we should regard them as a type of border wall. And it separates reality and Donald Trump's alternate reality. And the American people have watched this play out for months now. And they understand that the United States is the epicenter of the coronavirus, that this is the country you're most likely to die of COVID-19 in. This is the country you're most likely to get COVID-19 in. And they watched Donald Trump Mm -hmm tell the American people to inject disinfectants to deal with the virus. They watched him say that the virus would disappear magically when there were 15 cases, not to worry about it. They watched him say that the Chinese had this completely under control and were doing a terrific job. They've seen him lie about tests. They've seen him attack governors. They've seen him threaten states. And in short, they've seen somebody who lacks the mental the moral and the intellectual stamina to be able to lead the country through one of its greatest crises. And so what the American people, I think, are looking at this, taking Donald Trump's measure, finding him severely wanting as a leader. But what they understand is that the coronavirus didn't shatter the American economy. What shattered the American economy 
was the incompetence and the ineptitude of Donald Trump's response to the coronavirus. This isn't happening in other countries in the world with the same type of economic devastation that we're seeing in the United States. So whether it's him saying that the economy will be firing on all cylinders by the first quarter of 2021 or we'll have a great fourth quarter, people intuitively know it's all a lie. And what they see is the con man being unmasked day by day by day. And the fundamental question in an election is change or more of the same. And nobody in their right mind looks at this and says that that guy has the wherewithal to lead this country through this great crisis and through the next four years as we recover from it. And the recovery from this will likely take longer than four years. I don't think that any of these numbers, Willie, are determinative or predictable about what's going to happen in terms of the raw vote. But what they do show is the climate that we're operating in and the loss of confidence in the American people with regard to Donald Trump. And what was true about the election in 2016 was this. Whomever the election was about was losing. And the election was about Donald Trump all the way through, and he was losing all the way through until the end with the Comey letter. It became in those final days about Hillary Clinton. And then very narrowly, Donald Trump was elected to the presidency of the United States. It's incumbent upon Joe Biden to prosecute the case here. And the case is that in the second decade of the 21st century, the most powerful nation in the history of the world, its leading scientific, economic and military power, elected a con man, a failed businessman, a reality TV show star who had branded himself as a business icon to the presidency of the United States. He doesn't read, he can't consume information, he won't listen to anybody. And we as a country had a real lack of imagination for the capacity for there to be a great tragedy and it has come. And he lacks uh, every ability, every competency necessary to get us through this crisis. And that's what Joe Biden has to drive. He has to hammer it day in, day out, this is an incompetent, inept, lying, deceitful, no good president who has made the country the weakest it has ever been in the post-World War II era. So the cronyism, the, the corruption in all of this, it's just, it's just mind boggling. And just one thing, Joe, quickly about Obamagate, which of course there's no such thing. This was the cleanest administration in our lifetimes. There was no one indicted in the Obama administration for eight years. Nobody, zero people. So there's no such thing as Obamagate. It doesn't exist. It's a figment yeah. of the fever swamps of right-wing media. There's Obama's gate. I've seen a picture of it mm -hmm. on the internet, the gate in front of his house. That's Obama's gate. But there's no such thing as Obamagate as a scandal. Doesn't doesn't exist. And I don't think the American people are gonna buy it from the most corrupt president running the most corrupt regime in American history. People want to get back to work ASAP. You never worked a fucking day in your life. You're worried about the next four years. You need to be worried about the next four days, motherfucker. You need to be worried about the next four weeks, the next four months, you motherfucker. You are the worst possible motherfucker we can have in power making decisions, decisions right now. The real people want to get back to work. Why don't you send your fucking son, Dick Stain Donald Trump Jr., Big Tooth fucking Eric Trump, little fucking Baron, fucking Ivanka, Junkyard Jared. Let them go out there and test the fucking waters. Let them see if shit is sweet. Let them take the cars, the trains, the buses, the Amtraks. Let them play in the park and everything's good. If everything's good after five days of them playing out there in the streets, we'll all go back there. You want to make the American people guinea pigs so you can get reelected? You fucking clown. And people, if you fall for this shit, shame on you. If you still fall for this shit, Shame on you. This guy doesn't give a fuck about anybody but himself. He's talking about the next four years. Motherfucker, we're trying to figure out what to do with the next four hours, you fucking pimp, you con man, 
You too big, good for nothing pimp. Oh, 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 oh,